Come on through, cocky. I want to put my soap on, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, let's talk Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, season six, episode twelve. We're gonna start right where we left off. At Carly's opening, she's standing her ass up there. She got Caesar from Black Ink, and she's standing there with Jock. Jock feeling some kind of way. He didn't got right up in his feelings, okay? And he's over there, and Escalita's there. Escalita is making all these just she's being rude. She was being rude, like talking about the store. Oh, is this old stuff? We're getting it 20, 30, 40, 50% off. Says it's the store rounder of a swap meet or something. She was just being rude. And Carly was ready to thump her in her throat. Kept calling her empanada, honey. I said, oh my god, so. But the funniest thing was that Jock actually came out of his mouth and said something about Caesar's needle and then he said something about his needle travels deep. Now when you say small needle, first of all, I don't know why you're real pressed about the size of Caesar's needle. Unless I guess I hope you're talking about the needle he uses to do his tattoos with because We've seen pictures of you, Jock. You don't want to talk to a needle talk, honey. Not at all. You ain't even got a whole, you don't have a horse in that race, but horse <laughs> being the operative word. <laughs> so you might want to leave that alone. I don't know what else you do to Carly. But, honey, you ain't knocking her down with no big needle, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I just didn't get it. But I laughed. And Jock was just that. I love watching Jock. I think he's so much fun. And he really is funny. And I would love... Now, if he came here to Pittsburgh, I would go see young Jock do um, comedy, stand-up comedy. I wouldn't stay... I wouldn't pay $10 to see him sing those songs. But I would go see that fool do stand-up. And especially if he's wearing that damn dumbass hairdo. Yes, I would go and squall, honey, but if you singing or taking your clothes off, baby, I'm staying home. Anyway, moving on, but I don't get it. Him and Corey, they just miss, they just do each other wrong and I think that's when they're the happiest. Let's move on over to Pressed, um, where Rashida is at being pressed. She has this little guy, cute little fella, walks up on her. His name is Logan. Logan is Jasmine's ex, supposedly. And he tells Rashida that he is probably the baby's dad. That he was dating Jasmine. He had all these receipts and, and death certificates. And the baby's name is Cannon, which is actually his dad's name. And his dad died. He had his dad's death certificate. It was a mess. A whole mess. And Rashida was kind of like me. She was kind of kept backing up. But look at him. And I was like, this is a good acting job, Rashida. But, but um, y'all tell me what you think. But I'm looking at Logan. And I'm looking at Rashida. Y'all know I think Rashida's beautiful. And I'm looking at Logan. Logan cute as he wants to be. Do Logan and Rashida look like they could be cousins? I'm just saying, Mona. <laughs> Where's my girl Roxanne, Eddie? Because that's how I felt when I looked at him. I was like, Mona, bitch. <laughs> Can't nobody say it like Rox. But I said, Lord have mercy. I think Logan looks like Logan could be Rashida's cousin. I'm like, okay, y'all now. Y'all really pulling it. Anyway, hey, get the money for the family, honey, by all means necessary. But that's just a whole mess. Logan says he's going to go and get a DNA test, and then I guess once he gets his test, then maybe that will take D-Lo out of the whole thing, or maybe we have to still deal with Kirk. I don't know. It's just going to be a mess, but they're starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Okay, so then we're introduced to a new character. Her name is Spice, and she's a dance hall artist, 
Um, they run into her as soon as they get to Jamaica. Mimi and Carly went down a day early. And what Mimi doesn't know is that Melissa's actually on her way there too because Carly wants to set them up where they can squash their stuff and lick each other real quick. All three of them maybe can get a little lick, lick, lick on before the rest of the girls get there and everybody can be happy and, you know, you know. So that was that. Tammy ends up sitting talking to Walker. She's letting him move back in the house. She talked to him about her music. She plays some of her music. It sounds like a muffled fucking mess. It had a whole bunch of auto-tune going on, and I couldn't really make it out, so I'm kind of waiting to see exactly what's going to go on and, and hear what she actually has going on. But I did see a flash of, I guess, her cover for her single. The cover for the single, she looks beautiful. Um, but we'll see what that music is given, if it's even worth dealing with. Later on, uh, we have Candy. Candy came to talk to Rashida. The two of them are sitting down. Candy looked really, really nice. Her hair was really sharp, which I, because you know, something to Candy is touch and go. Sometimes Candy's hair be, uh, uh. but it was nice. She had like a sad part, really nice hair in, and her makeup and everything looked really nice. There you go, Candy. Now, I'm like, now, come on now. You just stepped out from your franchise, bitch. At least you know how to go outside. When you go outside, bitch, you be done. Because Candy was done. Had a real cute shoe on it. She looked really, really good. She really did. She sat there, gave Rashida some pretty good advice. You know what I mean? Um, Tell her, get on out and live a little, girl. I ain't telling you to go fall on a dick, but go on out there and, and party a little bit and see how I feel to not have no husband for a minute. Girl, go on on the trip because she was questioning whether or not she should go on the trip. So the girl going on the trip, Patty, and shake your ass a little bit. Now, I'm not, and I'm going to repeat it. I'm, I ain't telling you to go fall on a dick, but if you just happen to, girl, open your mouth. I said, okay. And Rashida actually had on a very pretty, the top was everything. She had this real pretty white top on with a pair of, like, uh, some jeans on, but the top and her pumps were real, really cute. You know she's always pretty, so that's just that. But I enjoyed seeing um, Candy and Rashida. I like actually seeing them two together. Because I like I told you, I don't really care too much about when Candy's over on Real Housewives. It's just like, oh, there's Candy. I'm just used to seeing her. And with Rashida, eh, I don't really care. She's just there. But when I see them do scenes together, I like seeing you know, even if I'm on Instagram and I see Rashida and Candy hanging out, they're interesting together. It's it's the weirdest thing. But anyway. You know, when you see Candy with her friends, she's more interesting. Like, when you see Candy and Tiny, you, I enjoy them. When I see Candy with any of her friends, her actual friends, I enjoy it. I don't know, but when I see her with the setup bullshit at the Real Housewives, I'll be like, whatever, Candy. You know, or she'll be going to do something to make me mad. And, you know, you know her ass is eating. You know, Candy is always going to eat. She ain't never got, nobody gave her the memo, girl, this is all for play, honey. You, the food ain't real. Child, Candy is going to eat. When you see her at a damn saying, that bitch be eating. And she did it over here at Love and Hip Hop, too. I said, see, you just like to eat, bitch. My kind of bitch. Anyway, moving on. So we got Carly and Mimi sitting there. And then up pops Melissa. Baby, that Mimi went into a dizzy tizzy. Do you hear me? She was just as mad, honey, and evil and going all down to this whole thing, you know, we got to listen to the whole draw out again about, I don't want to be around people that are around that bitch. You know, baby mama number five, this, that, and the other. She's so cool with Escalita being around because she thinks Escalita is going to be some type of uh, problem for Jocelyn, honey. I'm sorry, but there's nobody that's a problem for Jocelyn when it comes to Stevie J, okay? So you might as well let that go. That boat has sailed, honey. But she was so pissed off with Melissa. And the thing with Melissa, it ain't really the whole Jocelyn thing, I think, with Melissa. She's mad, and she don't know where to place the anger. She's mad because Arian is her pussy, and so is Melissa. And how dare you two get together and lick each other, and I'm not there to orchestrate. That's why she's mad. I said it. Write it in the comments to tell me how you feel, but that's what it is. Displaced anger. You don't know who to be mad at or who to be mad or at because your two pieces came together and had each other. 
I don't think she's just mad. I think she's swole. <laughs> but anyway, girl, it is what it is, honey. So she basically went on, and I laughed because that Melissa got away about her. Melissa, she tried to grovel a little bit, and then she gave Mimi, listen, have a good life. And she basically let her know, I said, uh, the bull dagger just jumped out of her ass, honey. From here on out now, maybe she's going to hurt your feelings, bitch, and ain't going to give a fuck. It's going to be on and popping. I'm just watching. Anyway, because, you know, we've seen Melissa got a mean side to her, too. So I said, oh, she's going to get you, uh, Mimi, girl. You better try to take the hand off she's giving to you, girl. She'll have you crying in a minute. Anyway, moving on. So then you got all the guys. You got Jock, Walker, um... Dimes, little boyfriend, Sean, they all done decided that they're going to come crash the trip in Jamaica. They're going to crash. I said, oh, boy, here we go. Um, Then all the girls were sitting on the beach. This is the second day. And Rashida shows up, and they just were talking about nothing really. Tammy and Dime made up with each other, which was cool. Um, Rashida said what she had to say about... Uh, Kirk, so good, we shouldn't have to hear no more about that shit, and then after that, we end up going into the evening, they're there um, to see, uh, what's the baby's name, Spice, perform, she had this cute bodysuit on, um, Carly gets up on stage, baby gets to twerking and carrying on, just looking, just chalk, just funky, she did, she just looked funky and stuck in time. Like a dog. I have to look at her. You don't get your old ass up. Who the fuck wants to see the old lady in the shoe leaning over the back of the hill, humping and bumping? Get out of here. She's a mess. Anyway, so they're sitting there. They're all having a good time. And they look over, baby. And Jock walks up with Treasure P. And it just threw Carly into a dizzy tizzy. And that's kind of where we ended at. But next week, Shit's really getting ready to pop off. So keep watching, and we'll talk about that next week. All right, y'all. Later.